this is Brian Cliffside Outfitters. Well, uh, the weather's going to keep us in today. Uh, a lot of thunderstorms rolling through the area here in western North Carolina. Uh, so we're not going to get to fish. But I've had a couple uh, requests about uh, tackle uh, storage and rod storage. And so what I'm going to do today uh, in the video is I'm going to take you uh, for a little bit of a tour. Now, uh, y'all have to realize I'm not OCD. I'm actually uh, fairly messy. Uh, uh, so, you know, you're not going to see... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time to sit around and label and uh, organize tackle. Uh, the tackle that I have, I use. And uh, I work a full-time job. And when I get an opportunity to fish, uh, I go fishing. So uh, uh, from time to time, there's some rainy days, and they, you know, you get to clean up and do. But, I mean, when you use this stuff all the time, it's hard to keep it organized. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I do. I don't really, let's not say that it's a system, uh, but there's some inexpensive tricks uh, and tips that I've learned over the years uh, that you may or may not want to utilize. This is just what I do. And uh, the thing about it is I have one boat, and uh, I am a multi-species angler. Uh, I fish for catfish, crappy. Uh, I like to fish in salt water. I like to fish in fresh water. Uh, go bass fishing from time to time. Bluegill fish. Uh, trout fishing. Uh, fish for a lot of different fish. And uh, over a period of years, you acquire a lot of tackle. And you have to figure out how to organize all your tackle. And I've, I've tried having uh, a tackle box for this or a tackle box for that. But... Uh, you know, unless this thing's going to be six foot long uh, and, and two foot wide, I'm not going to have a tackle box that that encompasses all the species that I fish. Uh, so when I go fishing, uh, I take a few minutes to prepare. And uh, what I like to do is be able to access my tackle quickly. So let's take a look at some of the stuff uh, that I use, some of the the methods I use to try to keep my, my tackle organized. Now you can see behind me here in the background, uh, I've got pegboard, and pegboard works great uh, for hanging up lures that you're not using. Uh, everything on this pegboard, well I've got some fishing line and different things on that pegboard, uh, but everything on that pegboard is stuff that's still in the packs. Well if I'm fishing with it, it's, it's not gonna be on that pegboard. Uh, so what I use is the 3700 series Plano trays and the trays I'm referring to is the ones like this uh, and you know none of my stuff is well you're constantly replacing these so uh, none of my stuff is new I don't have a, a whole lot of new uh, equipment because I've been doing this for years but uh, Y'all are all familiar with these trays. This particular tray has higher jigs in it uh, for crappy fishing. But this is the type of tray that uh, that I use. And what I found works the best for me, regardless of what kind of fishing uh, that I'm doing, uh, I have uh, tackle bags uh, that these trays fit into. It's all right, so here's what I got. I got these bags. Uh, and you can get these in all different sizes. This particular one holds about five of these uh, regular size. It don't have to be any particular manufacturer. I just call this a 3700, uh, and that's uh, a Plano's uh, number for the size of this box. And I'll put these, I'll stack these inside this bag, just like that. Uh, depending on if I'm going crab fishing, say I'm going crab fishing uh, and uh, I'm going to be in the boat and I know I'm going crab fishing, I'll stack all my crab fishing stuff in here in these boxes and uh, I'm ready to go. Now, if, say for instance, I'm going to go do a little flounder fishing, well, I can get my boxes for that 
and I can stack them in here and I'm ready to go. Now, in this bag, I've always got hemostats, got a pair of scissors, got a hook remover, a fillet knife, or two, a pair of pliers. All that stuff stays in this bag all the time. And I've got several of these bags. They're all equipped the same way. Uh, sometimes you might have to take more than one bag if you're not sure what you're fishing for. But, but anyway, you put your Plano trays in these bags and you take them with you. When you come back, you empty them out, you get ready for the next trip. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you um, something that I found out years ago is the easiest way and the most economical way that I've ever found to store all these miscellaneous trays. You've got, we've got catfish trays, crappy trays, bass trays, trout trays, saltwater trays. I've got a tray for jug fishing. Uh, I've got a tray for running trot lines. Uh, so I'm going to show y'all an inexpensive way to store all of these. All right, guys. Check that out right there. These right here are the wide drawer filing cabinets. I've had these for years. Uh, this tan one on the end is a little bit newer than the other two. But for years, I've used these to store tackle in. Now, like I was telling you before, I've got some pegboard, and on that pegboard is some lures that I've never used. Uh, but when you, once you use that lure, or you open that bag of worms, well, what do you do with it? Well, everybody uses these, right? The Plano tray. So what I do, if you'll look, each one of my trays are labeled as to what's in it. Some of these trays are extremely old. Some of them fairly new. You'll have to replace them over time because they do wear out. But these file cabinets will hold, each one of these drawers will hold 12 of those Plano trays. I picked these file cabinets up, I think, uh, for $20 a piece. They're used, and uh, there's not as much of them in use anymore uh, as they used to be. And you can pick these up at the Goodwill or uh, office liquidation. But these trays are $20. And, or, uh, I'm sorry, the, the filing cabinets is $20. And each one of them, these are four-drawer file cabinets. They'll hold 48 Plano trays. That's a lot of trays. That's a lot of fishing tackle. But let's open this back up now. Like I said, this particular one says crankbaits. I've got several, two or three of these. we got crankbaits in there. Some of them are some old ones. They don't make them anymore. But uh, right here, got top ones. Like I said, these, these are not new trays. You can see that, that this tackle has been well used. But, uh, so I can grab, basically, I can reach in here and grab just exactly what I need. Uh, it keeps it organized. Uh, in fact, I mean, I've got a tray down here. That particular tray right there has crawfish traps and cast nets. And here's our, our night fishing equipment. Over here we've got uh, some stuff for, for trot lines and uh, extra big sink. And uh, right there's our, our trot line hookups, our leaders that go on the trot line. So, but you can organize this stuff any way you want to. But that right there has been the most economical uh, way for me to store my tackle. I didn't have to uh, drag out the power saws. Uh, didn't have to build no equipment. And I can reorganize anytime I want to. But anyway, guys, that's uh, 
That's a little tip from Cliffside Outfitter. Uh, so you can even adjust this thing to where you can put these little trays in there. Uh, yeah, this is this. If you see these, pick them up because they make great storage for your 3700 series tackle trays. Now, let's go over and take a look at uh, some of our rod racks. All right, guys. Now, rod racks. Um, what I do to store my my fish rods, most of them. Uh, there's some that won't fit in these. But most of my fishing rods uh, can be stored easily in this type of rod rack. And when you buy these, the way they're made is they're, they're actually for horizontal storage and you get two of them like this. Um, and I think the concept is, is you put one on the boat here and you put one on the boat here and you clip your rods in it, right? So, uh, I guess they're, or wherever, you can do it that way. Uh, whether it be on the boat or, or uh, on your wall, however you want to use these. But what I do um, is I use these for vertical storage. Now, two of these, a set of these, you can buy these uh, for just under $10. There's six locations, six holes in each one of these. So, if you buy yourself these for 10 bucks, you can store 12 rods. Let me show you how I've got them set up. All right, so here we have it. Um, there they are. You can see there's six rods in each one of those. All I've done is I've screwed them to the wall. And you'll look, my real seats are off the floor. Now there's a couple maybe that's touching. Uh, but basically, uh, the eye in the fishing rod, if you clip that in there and you ease it down, uh, the eye of the fishing rod sits right on that foam and holds it in place. Now that, is about as inexpensive uh, and effortless as I know uh, for you to store your fishing rods. See, I've got some more down here. And then we jump over here, we've got a few more. Uh, them right there, that's a mess. I need to straighten that out. Now some of your big big saltwater stuff, it's not gonna fit in these, but, uh, but anyway, so there we have it. We, we've got our fishing rods stored down there. We've got our stuff over here not used yet. And then we've got our uh, our tackle storage over there that uh, uh, holds our 3,700 trays. And like I said, it's a modular, adaptable system. You can even use some of these drawers to store extra reels. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. So. All right, guys, there you have it. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much the system that I use uh, to store my my fishing rods and my tackle, and uh, it don't take me but just a few minutes if I figure out what kind of fish I'm going after. I can grab those trays out, and throw them in a bag. Uh, these these rod holders, I know that I'm not using them exactly the way they're intended, uh, but they've worked for me for years. Uh, never had any problems with it and it's cheap and inexpensive so grab you some of these go see if you can't find you a file cabinet or two and uh, get your stuff organized it'll save you time and uh, when it saves you time that means that you can spend more time in the water uh, until next time this is Cliffside Outfitters y'all have a good day